Anyway, uh, to me, in my estimation, uh, this movie, Shawshank Redemption, is all about hope. And the message of Shawshank is that hope gets us busy living. We're going to talk about that today. Hope gets us busy living. What an incredible gift the gift of hope is. We cannot live without it. But where there is hope, there is life. I think we all know this. Uh, Just some more trivia here. Uh, It's said that we can live about 40 days without what? Food. It's said we can live about three days without water. That's why water is the gift of baptism. It gives us life. We can live, it's said, about eight minutes without air. But it's said that we can't live one second without hope. We cannot live without it. But where there is hope, there is life. We know this. You know, life isn't always a bowl of cherries, right? Sometimes we do face challenges like Superman. Maybe not in the movies, but in real life. I think we all know how it feels when hope even wanes a little bit in our life. How do we feel? When hope wanes, we start feeling apathetic. We start surrendering a little bit. We start wanting to send the white flag up or throw in the towel or we start saying things like, who cares? Even when hope wanes, we know it starts to take away our life. And then there are those times in our life, unfortunately, um, I don't think I've been at the total, total bottom because we wouldn't be alive, but there are times when hopelessness comes. You know, life sways on us in our journey. Sometimes we become and get to the place of hopelessness. And that's a place, that's a tough place because that's a place where our life is paralyzed. And we become numb. We don't have energy. We don't know if we can go on anymore. Frankly, hopelessness is has a danger in the fact that it can even threaten our life. Hope, what a gift of God it is to us. It's what gives us life. We cannot live without it. But where there's hope, there's life. And I think we all know what hope does. And so today I want to celebrate a little bit more uh, about the gift of hope. And then secondly, today I want to talk about how God calls you and I to live in hope. And number three, little three-point sermon, I want to talk about how God calls you and I to share the gift of hope. We can't live without hope. What's, what does it do? I mean, we're talking to the kids. There are some things that hope brings to us in life. It puts a smile on your face. It puts a bounce in your step. It puts excitement in your voice. It is that inner voice that says, never, ever give up. Hope says, I'm going to have the courage and confidence to get through everything that's facing me in life today and keep me going. Hope. We cannot live without it, but where there is hope, there's life. Hope gets us busy living. I want to talk about the movie. We'll see a little clip 
Shawshank Redemption, there's two main characters in this movie. Uh, it takes place in Shawshank, which is a prison. It's in Maine. The two main characters, one is Tim Robbins, who plays a fellow named Andy Dufresne. As you remember, if you see the, saw the movie, he's the one who was accused of uh, murdering his wife, but he didn't. The other character in the movie is Morgan Freeman, whose name in the movie is Red. And he's the guy who always goes before the prison board and uh, has an interview and always is denied release. Anyway, the context of what the clip is, we have Morgan Freeman, Red, who's just been denied once again. And then we have Andy Dufresne, who has just come out of solitary confinement. They're sitting in the prison yard, leaning up against the prison wall. And Andy is daydreaming about the day he's going to be in Mexico on the beach, enjoying life. And Red looks at Andy and says, Andy, don't do that to yourself. Hope in this place will kill you. And he looks back at Red and says, the way I see it is that you should get busy living or get busy dying. Well, the end of the movie is, hey, Andy has tunneled his way out of prison, is down on the beach. Red Morgan Freeman has been released from prison. He joins his friend on the beaches of Mexico. Get busy living. That's what hope is. Let's take a look at the clip. If it's working. Whatever mistakes I made, I paid for them and then some. That hotel, that boat, I don't think that's too much to ask. I don't think you ought to be doing this to yourself, Andy. You're down there, and you're in here, and that's the way it is. Yeah, right. That's the way it is. It's down there, and I'm in here. I guess it comes down to a simple choice, really. Get busy living. You get busy dying. Get busy living, or get busy dying. Oh yeah, he's on his way to Mexico. He got busy living. Hope is God's gift to us that gets us busy living. It's an absolutely incredible gift of God. Now, it may not be at the same height as love, according to Paul. But it's right up there. We can't live without it. Hey, I want to talk this morning about God's call to us to live in hope. There's a person I was just giving, you know, with the kids, Christopher Reeves. Was he living in hope? Once you choose hope, anything is possible. This is a guy who was a quadriplegic. He was a champion. For hope. It's a story I love about living in hope. Uh, it just, I tell it to myself quite a bit. It's about a fellow who's out for a walk on a day like today, and he's walking by the ball fields, and he's walking by a right fielder, and it's Little League, and he looks at the, he's interested in knowing the score, and so this guy looks at the right fielder and says, hey, what's the score? And this little boy says, well, the score is 18 to nothing. And so the man looked at this little boy and said, well, then it doesn't look so good for you, does it? And the little boy looked back at the fellow and he said, well, it ain't so bad, sir. We haven't been up to bat yet. <laughs> you know what? Sometimes life 
we get in that position where the score we feel is 18 to nothing, in that moment, look to the source of hope. And the Lord is the source of hope. With Him, we can get through anything. God calls you to live in hope. Now, uh, the last thing I'd like to just share is that God calls you and I to share the gift of hope with everyone that we come in contact with on life's way. Because sharing the gift of hope changes lives. And I want to just share a story uh, that I read just recently. It's about Thomas Edison. It's about Thomas Edison's mom and how she shared the gift of hope and made a difference in his life. Here's Thomas Edison's story. One day as a small child, Thomas Edison came home from school and gave a paper to his mom. He said to his mom, Mom, my teacher gave this paper to me and told me only you are to read it. So then little Tom asked, Mom, what does it say? She hesitated for a moment. Mom did and then her eyes welled up with tears, but then she started to read the letter out loud to her child, and she read, It says, Your son is a genius. This school is too small for him and doesn't have good enough teachers to train him. Please teach him yourself. Well, many years after Edison's mother had died, he became one of the greatest inventors of the century. One day he was going through a closet and he found the folded letter that his old teacher wrote his mother that day. He opened it. The message written on the letter was this. Your son is mentally deficient. We cannot let him attend our school anymore. He is expelled. Edison became emotional reading it, and then wrote in his diary, Thomas Edison was a mentally deficient child whose mother turned him into the genius of the century. We're called by God to share the gift of hope. When we encourage a child, or if somebody is hanging their heads kind of low and we walk up to them and we share a word of confidence and courage and say, you can get through this. I'm going to walk with you. We're going to do it. We're going to endure it. When we share the gift of hope, life changes and we have the abundance that God desires for us to have. I love Romans 15, 13. Paul is an encourager, a sharer of hope. Did you get that last verse? 15, 13. It's a great blessing of Paul. He shares, he wants you to have hope. He says, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that you may abound in hope in the power of the Holy Spirit. Hope, what an incredible gift it is. Live in it, share it. And I hope that your day is full of hope, that your life is full of hope. We can't live without it. In Jesus' name, amen.